Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> it's so nice to be here in Guadalajara uh, and hear your orchestra. I heard him uh, a couple of times this weekend. And how is it to sort of wrap up this little season uh, as artistic director? It's, it's great. I feel really pleased and proud of, of the orchestra. Uh, when I came here a couple months ago and had a, one rehearsal with them, um, it was a completely different orchestra. It was, it was a, a different group, and I'm so happy because now they're, they're really playing together, they're blending, the sections are becoming a section. Um, they're uh, really giving their best, pouring their heart out in the concerts, and really preparing, being very disciplined, respectful, and all that is what a music director wants. So I'm, I'm really happy. Uh, things have really, really changed because there were... You know, they had been without a music director for a year and a half, and uh, that always, you know, always makes everything a lot looser than when there's a leader and a, a head. Uh, so I'm really happy, really pleased, proud. It was a big effort for me personally, and of course for everyone, but I'm, I'm pleased. And this is just the beginning, you know, this is just four weeks of being together every day. Um, the, the orchestra has three seasons, and this is the second season, uh, and we're going to do a wonderful third season in, in the fall, and uh, I just look forward to where we can really grow together, and I think it's, there's a lot of potential here. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know you're um, very active in New York, Mexico City, I see you go to Germany and Japan, and you know, you've done all these things. I, how many, I'm curious, how many languages do you speak and, and is music sort of this great universal language for you? Well, yes, of course, M music is the language for me because everywhere I go, that's the way I communicate. When I'm in Japan, actually musicians, they're not, they don't really speak English, most of them don't speak English, so the way to, to communicate is singing. This la 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 la, or play ta 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 with the ta ta ta, you know? And, um, and it's funny because when you communicate with music, you're basically just speaking directly to, to the soul and the, ca the character, the essence of a person without anything else. So it's a, it's, it's a, a really interesting phenomenon. Uh, but I speak English, Spanish, and now I'm learning Deutsch. I'm learning, <laughs> and I'm learning German. I've been learning for three months only, and I'm really excited. And so I, I recently was at, um, in Austria, and I did my first rehearsal in German, and it was it was really scary, but I think I did I did okay. And so my goal is for my next concert in Germany, which is in Leipzig with MDR in October, uh, to be able to to do my all my rehearsals in German and without much much problem. So that's, it's a language I, I love, and for music it's really important. So it's helping me a lot, and to do Mahler and coach the chorus and all that, I I needed to learn it. So. Yeah. Uh, I know you've had great uh, teachers and probably many inspirations, both conducting in piano and just in general music. Uh, and I see recently you've been involved with a directing class, especially for Latino uh, conductors. Um, would you tell me a little bit about this? And is that important? Because I've seen you in oh, Roosevelt and this. That's very important. Uh, my teacher, Kenneth Kiesler, is still, he's still my teacher and I think always will will be. Um, he's a really amazing pedagogue. He knows how to teach conducting, which is a very different thing than to just be a good conductor, which he really is, but he he knows how to bring the best out of people and un understand and make them understand how conducting works. So I, I've always felt really blessed that I met him when I was 19 years old and I've been studying with him since then. And I think the reason why, why I've, I've grown so fast and I've had such great opportunities is because I've had a really solid foundation and, and teaching from my teacher, from Ken. So I, I really wanted to bring his knowledge and his magic to Mexico, to the young conductors in Mexico who are trying to find a path to, to, to conduct and to learn conducting and can't find it. It's a, it's a, it's a hard thing because they're, they're not many schools that teach conducting, in Mexico definitely there are not many, and frankly they're not very good. So, 
and most conductors don't allow students to come to the rehearsals, they don't teach. Uh, so it's really difficult for a young person to say I want to be a conductor in Mexico City and try to find a way. So I wanted to bring Ken to Mexico and to offer a conducting course to Mexican conductors for free. And thanks to the uh, Minister Ministry of Culture, uh, we got a grant to do this course and I, I produced it and basically um, Ken came we had a, an orchestra and there were 12 conductors that were active and about 30 auditors and it was completely free and I was also teaching, I was a, the assistant teacher and I got to teach a lot and actually well, when you teach you realize a lot, you learn I think more than the students so it was, it was wonderful and it was a great success and they, all the, the people who participated and are still around, they come to my rehearsals, they're emailing me, texting me, I have a rehearsal today while I was in uh, during the intermission, one of them was texting me, I'm about to enter a concert that I'm conducting, I'm so excited, it's going well, and I'm just really happy to, to help help people out because when I, when I started there was really nothing, there was no one who would help me, so uh, in Mexico. It wasn't until I went to New York that I started getting opportunities and teachers who would help me. So it's, it's been great. And I, I've, I've always been interested in education and I, I'll always do something about it. So I'm hoping that this will become a yearly academy and uh, maybe the next year, next year we'll do it here with this orchestra, I hope. Oh, cool. Uh, I guess I'd end with, and if you don't mind, uh, uh, although I want to ans ask the question in, in Spanish, if you wouldn't mind answering in Espanol. Um, uh, how, how delightful, as, as much as you've worked in New York and, and Mexico City and places, uh, how nice is it to sort of have now a artistic base here in Guadalajara? Pues para mí es, es muy muy importante tener un lugar para trabajar en mi país y aportar a la cultura de mi país en una ciudad tan importante como lo es Guadalajara. Eh, donde puedo poner un granito de arena a que la cultura en México crezca, eh, florezca y pues es por eso que estoy aquí, porque quiero hacer algo en mi país, porque quiero, quiero ayudar a que, a que México prospere. Well, muchas gracias, thank you muchas so much. Muchas gracias, John. It's so great to have you here. I'm so thrilled. I'm so moved you came all the way.